hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijama here and in today's video we are going to learn how to make this dress so this dress has side cadas it does not have any half length and for the back the back neckline is very low it has a low neckline at the back and a belt for this for this um style i used two and a half yard of fabric but if you want to make it please buy three three yards of fabric is okay for this now we are going to start with our pattern drafting then the cutting we need to sew this with pattern now this is my pattern and my fabric the first thing that i'm going to do is to get my chest line that is my armhole line and it is eight my bust point is 10 my half length is 17 you need to mark your half length because that is where you are going to mark your waist measurement right then you measure from your waist to your hip my own is 26 and then the full length is 36 now after doing that we'll label our lines and this is chest line this is bust point this is under bust this is half length this is hip line and then the last one is the full length that place is the full length of this dress now the first thing that i'm going to do here is to get my shoulder like your shoulder divided by two then you are going to mark it straight down to your chest line and after that you will connect your armhole after doing this the next thing that i'm going to do is to find my dart line if you check this dress very well it has a dart and you need to do a little upper bust tightening so that the neckline of your dress will not be gapping or falling off so my nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four so i'm marking four four inches right from the chest line of this dress down to the full length from the chest line down to the full length then after marking that four four inches you know our neckline will not start from our chest line because it will be it will be very low so from the chest line i went up by like one inch i went up by like extra one inch and that is where my neckline will stop but i want my neckline to stop there like at around a seven inches so this place is seven inches now i will also mark the width of my neckline five the depth of my neckline is seven i don't know if you understand so this that line stopped at the neck depth my neck width is five that is ten if you open it up it will be ten then the neckline stopped at seven but if you want to bring it low so that your breast can show your cleavage can show that is okay then i i took out half an inch half an inch on each side of that that line and this will serve as our upper bust tightening it is really important take out half an inch half an inch on each side of that neckline then at the at the under bust i took out half an inch half an inch also from the under bust and this this particular one you connect it to your boss points connect to your boss points connect the other one to the boss points then from that under boss you would take this half length half inch line down to your hip down to your full length sorry don't stop at the hip line you will take it down to your full length now we'll go ahead and take our body measurements my boss divided by four plus one inch for seam allowance but now i'm not adding any allowance on my paper and my waistline i'll divide my waist by four plus that that allowance one inch for that allowance then hip divided by four plus that allowance this is more like a basic gown from this basic gown we will now mark out we will now cut out the side gathers for now we are drafting a basic gown so from our hip length we are taking this this um hip measurement down to the full length of this dress now we are going to cut out then after cutting out this dart line that stopped at the hip line it is not supposed to stop there i will still take it down to the full length so if you are marking your own dart line make sure that it is down to your full length i hope we understand then i'll go ahead and cut out my neckline the neckline is a square neckline you don't need to do too much then you can do a little shoulder slant now the next thing that i'm going to do is to extend my dart line straight down to the full length i told you guys that i will extend it straight down to the full length so your dart this half an inch half an inch should start from the under boss straight down to the full length using my front i will draft out my back and i'm not adding any darts to my back because the neckline is very low so i don't think adding that to be necessary to that back now 
I'll add two inches for zipper allowance. That's the only thing I did. Then I'll cut out the side. I'll cut out the armhole, my shoulder. Then for the neckline, the neck width will be the same thing. The wideness of the of the dress will be the same thing. So first of all, I'm marking my two two inches for my zipper allowance. I added two two inches for my zipper allowance. After marking that line, I'll go ahead and label the zipper allowance so that I'll know my zipper allowance. After doing that, I will get the neck depth, like how deep my neckline will be at the back. It depends on how you want it though but for me i came down by 15 inches for my neck depth my neck depth is 15 inches so the neck width remains the same but the neck depth will be 15 inches or 16 so this is okay i'll go ahead and remove the front pattern now i am done marking out the shape at the back so like i said from the neckline i came down by 15 inches you can even make it 16 or 17 it depends on how low you want it to be then from my neck width the neck width still remains five inches that is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so i connected a very deep v neckline and you will see how I'll cut it out you cut out your neckline after cutting that out this is what we have at the back like i said i don't want to add any dart to my back now you can see the front and the back paper they are set what i'm going to do right now is that i will cut off the dart like i'll cut off these darts i'm done cutting my neckline so i'll go ahead and cut out the center piece that one is the center piece and i'll also cut out this that now this is what i have it is very okay now close your dots on paper go ahead and close this dot on paper you can see you will have to close this dot on paper before you can cut out the side curve where you make your gathers so it depends on where you want this side curve to be if you want you can come up by five inches from your hip line then three inches from the center of the paper but i feel it is too low so i even took it up i just came down by one inch from my half length or two inches then i came in by three inches at the full length of the paper and i connected from there down to the full length so this is the curve i have there and i will close it with a mask it's a silo tape because it, the, all of them have to be together the reason why I'm closing this on a cello tape is that so that I can close that that line. Then I will cut out that curve. And this is where I will join my gathers. Now you can see what we have there. And I will also use it to cut out the curve of the back. You know, I will still make a curve at the back where I will place my gathers. And like I said, the width at the full length will be 3 inches. So that if you open it up, it will be 6 inches. You know, now this is what we have. This is a side piece and you can see that curve from the front to the back. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is to slash this paper, this curve that we got. Now, this is where we are going to get our gathers from. So this curve that I have right now, I'll go ahead and slash it into like four or five different places. So I label them number one to five. Now before i slash the paper i like slashing my paper after folding my fabric so that my paper will not um scatter so now i am folding my fabric and remember the side seam the side seam of these gathers will be closed so your hip area the hip area of this paper will be facing the folded part you can see how i placed it the hip area of this paper is for is facing the folded parts of these clothes i hope you understand so that the side of that gown will not have any joining the side of that gather will not have any joining so <clears throat> sorry place it on around the closed or the folded parts of the fabric now slash you can see i'm slashing it after slashing it i will spread this paper i will spread it by like five five inches five inches four inches should give you a full gather for me spread it by five five inches so if you spread you will measure the distance between each spreading that you made so this is number one number two i'll go ahead and measure so i have five inches there this one is five inches away from the other one 
number three is five inches away number four to five is also five inches away now i'll go ahead and connect the lines you should give half inch allowance at the top of this spreading at the top of this paper and also you have one inch allowance at the full length of this paper like at the down part of this paper for hemming we are going to fold it right so you go ahead and cut it so after cutting this this fabric will have a high low shape like all of them will not be straight you can see that it has a high low shape right now so let me turn it so that you guys can see i'm done with my paper i will open it up so that you can see what i have there so it has this high low now this is where we are going to gather so that it will merge your fabric cannot be straight one side will be higher one side will be low now notch the center of that fabric using this first one i'll cut out the second one because we have two gathers now one on the right side one on the second side so i'll also fold my fabric and i'll place the first gather on this then i will cut out now after cutting this out the next thing that we're going to cut out is our belt you know that this dress has a belt so you also go ahead and cut out your belt you can see that i have placed my fabric and i am cutting it out not your center always remember to notch the center of this folding because that center will be at the side joining of your main gown then we'll go ahead and cut now we have two fabric here the next thing that i'm cutting is my belt after cutting out my belt i can now go ahead and cut facing and co that's why i said you should buy three years at the beginning of this video and i told you guys to buy three years because i bought two and a half and this two and a half is really small so now these are my um my pieces my center piece my side and the back piece i'll cut out of them and i'll add half inch half inch allowance after cutting this i'll also cut out my belt So right now, I am done cutting out the belt and this is the fabric that I'm left with. Uh, you go ahead and join my front pieces first of all before cutting out the facing because I'm trying to manage. But if you have enough fabric, all these pieces you have here, you cut them out on the lining. Like the way you cut proper lining. Everything you have here, you cut it out on lining. But this one, I'm managing my fabric. So I'll join the pieces before cutting my facing. Now, I'll go ahead and cut out the facing for the back first of all so this is the back piece you will cut out the facing the facing will start all the way from your neckline it will cover your armhole so you can see this place i'm cutting now is the neckline you can see the armhole yeah so make sure that your facing is big enough 
to turn both your arm hole and your neckline you will turn arm hole and you will turn neckline also it is important now these are my back pieces and i'll go ahead and place my facing on them you can see the back pieces i'll place the facing on them and that facing i will use it to turn the arm hole first you turn the neck you turn the neckline and not top stitch then you will turn the arm hole i hope you understand you will not turn the side of this gown just the neckline and the armhole so these are the areas you will turn then you iron now i am done joining my front pieces so i'm trying to trim it so that everything will be equal after after this joining i will now go ahead and cut out the facing and the facing that will cut out for this front will cover the neckline and the armhole also i hope you understand the facing that i will cut out will cover the neckline and the armhole also so now this is the fabric that i'm trying to use i will fold it into two first of all after folding i'll place my fabric on top so the facing will cover the neckline and the armhole so because of this breast curve that we have here the i will not allow the facing to be straight from the inside i will curve it a little from the center i will curve it a little you see the way i'm curving it so that it will not affect my breast curve my breast area will still relax now go ahead and turn this neckline with your facing and also turn your armhole with the facing if you want to bring down your neckline more you can still bring it down more now after doing that this is my back i am done turning the armhole and the neckline of the back I'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance first of all. If you have been following me, you will know that I like closing my zipper allowance before shipping. I am done closing the zipper allowance. I'll place my front piece on it. I am also I'm done turning the facing of my front seam. But before I do that, I will place my belt. Remember that we have a belt on this dress. I have turned my belt. I'll go ahead and place my belt. I'll pin it down before placing the top on it. Now, after placing your belt, go ahead and take your body measurements. Let's go ahead and pin down, pin everything down. Take your body measurement and then you will shape. Then if your shoulder is falling off, I'll advise you to do one thing. If your shoulder is falling falling off, what you are going to do is that you will reduce the back shoulder. Like you will cut out the length of the back shoulder. You will reduce the back shoulder and leave the front shoulder that way so that the shoulder will not fall off and the back will, all, will not be folding also so now i am marking my measurements after marking my measurements i'll go ahead and shape just my bust and my waist measurement i'll shape the bust the waist and the shoulder also so right now i am done doing all that what i'm going to do is that i will trim my curve after trimming my curve i will fix my gathers and then fix my zipper yeah this dress is somehow easy to make once you get your pattern right it will be easy for you to make so you can see i'm trimming my curve and these belts i noticed that the belt is too high i had to bring it down a bit so that it would be very close to my waistline the belt is really high it's around my under bust so i had to loosen it and i brought it down to the half length now this is the gathers first of all from the full length you will run a straight line and when you get to where the dart line started you can now start doing your gathers that's the trick don't start gathering from the full length you will run a straight line from the full length. If you get to this guard, that that line, you will not start gathering. Make sure you run a full, a straight line first of all. So now after adding my gathers, this is what I have. This dress is really beautiful. Though at the end of the day, I was feeling like I don't like the color. But then the dress itself is really beautiful. So after doing that, you open up your zipper allowance and you add your zipper. And that will be it 
for the tutorial i hope you understand i hope the tutorial is explained explained or detailed so if you have any question feel free to ask me in the comment section and if you are ready to yet to register for any of our on online classes we have so many online classes blazer shirts trouser jumpsuits reception dress corsets transparent corsets in beauty corsets if you want to register for any of that just send me a message or drop your comments in the comment section and i will give you direction on how you can message me so thank you all so much and this is the dress on my body thank you and see you all in my next video do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see the video also click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified thank you all and see you all in my next video bye